Hi friends, I am Yashwardhan and welcome to my channel. Today, uh, today my experiment is about how blinking these LEDs in a, in a order and then offing them in the same order. That is, that is I am going to blink these LEDs from this, from this LED to this LED in some intervals and then again they are going to turn off in the same order. Now, to do this test, we, to do this a test we require a breadboard uh, you can use any big breadboard also i'm using the small breadboard a switch you can have a button switch that on off switch and you require some six uh, six resistances of any value of resistance greater than 240 ohms can be used as i am using a resist for my i'm using a resistance of one kilo ohms now you also require some some five to six any any number of LED of your choice. I'm using five LEDs, out of which two are of red color, two are blue color, and one is green color. You can use all the same LEDs also. There is no reason and some connecting wires. Now, as this as this switch is having a flat pins which cannot be directly inserted in this breadboard, so I connected this wire with alligator clips, and I have connect now coming on to the connection. This is a breadboard. I have connected the output of 5 volts as my as positive voltage and ground and this is grounded to the ground pin. Now coming on to this switch, one end of the switch is connected to the positive terminal, other end of switch is given to this 1 kilo ohm resistor and the common point is given to the pin number this pin number 2 of Arduino Uno. Now the other end of resistance is grounded. Now Coming on to these connections, I have ground I have connected a 1 kilo ohm resistor to all the cathodes to all the anodes of this resistances. This anode is nothing but the whatever is the longer leg. An LED has two legs. One is a longer leg, another is shorter leg. This longer leg is called anode or positive terminal, and the shorter leg is cathode or negative terminal. I have connected them such that this anode is going to this resistance and the cathodes is grounded. That is, I have grounded all the cathodes, all these LEDs cathodes are grounded, whereas to the positive terminal, I have connected the uh, connected resistance, 1 kilo ohm resistor, whose other ends are going to pin number 6, this pin number 6, pin number 7, pin number 8, pin number 9, and pin number 10, respectively. Now, I have connected a USB cable to the, to the system. Friends, this is the code I am going to use for the, to in to do this test. Now, if you coming on to the code, first I have initiated an int uh, variable which I am saying it, I am defining it as an integer and I gave the variable name as button. Next, in the void setup, I have declared that pin number 2, digital pin number 2 is my input pin, whereas pin number 6, pin number 7, pin number 8, pin number 9, and pin number 10 my output pins. Then, in the void loop, which goes on continuously, I am declaring that the button, uh, that my variable button should, uh, I am assigning whatever is the, I am using a command called digital read to, that is whatever is the state of the state of that pin number 2, that is if pin number 2 is high, that is at, z at 1 or low at 0, I am assigning that value to button. Now, if I am saying that, if my button value button value is 1, that is if my button state is high, then I need to first, I am saying that pin number 6, the LED connected to pin number 6 should be high, then it should wait for a delay of 500 millisecond, that is 0.1 second, then again the pin LED connected to pin number 7 should be high, and, and so on, up to all the LEDs, up to all the 5 LEDs are on. Then I am saying that whatever the LED that is connected to pin number 6 should be low and after waiting a half, min, half second, okay, all these LEDs should, should turn off in a, with an interval, interval of 1 millisecond, 500 milliseconds between them. Next, and I am saying if my button status is not, not high or if it is equals to 0, that is if my switch is in off condition, then I am saying that all my LEDs should be off. Then I am saying it to going to wait for the delay of one one second, 
and again go on repeating this loop now once you are doing once you have once you have completed this i will link this code in the description below so no need of worrying now once you have written this code and then you need to click on verify to verify whether there are any errors in this code uh, one, that is you need to compile and verify whether there are no errors once you are confident that there are no errors you need to go to tools from the port column you need to select the port to which port you are connected your arduino uno and board you select the board type of board you are using then after you have selected them you need to click on upload to upload the code onto your arduino uno next now friends once the code is uploaded onto the arduino uno i have already linked the code in the description now then afterwards you can just play with the arduino that is if I now I will press this button on and you can observe that my LEDs are turning on one by one and they are turning off in the same order and again after one second they are again turning on and again turning off because my switch is in on condition now if I push this button then now the switch is in off condition it's already running so it will go on it will complete its that line and afterward it will stop running which means our circuit is working perfectly fine now friends if you like my if you like my explanation and you want to see more videos please subscribe to my channel and also if you have some kind suggestions on what type of circuits or what type of project should i do you can comment down below if you like, like the video please like my video share it with your friends and and subscribe subscribe to my channel thank you and thanks for watching and have a nice day